Hello everyone, and welcome back to their Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition Let's Play video. And this is part 166 of my Let's Play series. And in the last video, we began on making my new build down in my basement, which is the breaker room based off of the original Luigi's Mansion, that is. So, and I did do some off-camera work, as you can tell, I kind of started on the breaker room just a little bit, some of the decor, and kind of laying out some of the pieces that I'm in. So as you can tell, I did do some off-camera work, I kind of started on some of the decor, kind of laying things out for how I want it. And I also finished the corridors, and well, that's one issue I'm going to run into. Tons of zombies and all that stuff coming up to the door here. But, as you can tell, this huge area over here is now completely dug out. And this leads all the way over to the stairs on the right side of my foyer. And these stairs are essentially going to lead down to another room on the right side, kind of similar to the breaker room on this side. And then the middle space is going to be utilized for the minecart system that will lead to various places in my world. But obviously we need to finish this room first before I move on to that. So let's go ahead and get started here, get right into the decor here. So I do have some materials that I collected off camera, including a bunch of new wood. And I do have some string here as well. Not really sure. I do have some carpets, some fences, some wood. A lot of the stuff I collected off camera as well. And then I also finished the flooring in here as well with the remaining stone bricks that I had managed to smelt from that huge area I dug out. And I am going to have to completely fill it in with fences because white carpets cover the entire thing of this. So, ooh, I do have six pieces of string so I can actually make another piece of wool, which will allow me to make another set of carpets, which should be enough to finish this off. Yes, perfect. Just enough. So that's great. Now, these right here are pipes. That's what these fences are representing, because there are a few pipes down here in the break room. There's also a few webs, which I unfortunately can't get because I have to go back to the mine shaft and you know use shears and all that stuff to get those. Now, as far as the barrels down here, there is obviously no barrels in this version, so I'm gonna have to make do with what I have. So I'm gonna try my best to kind of replicate that with some logs. I think that probably represents barrels the most, at least in this version. And then I'll probably try to place down some torches here. There is a light in the middle of the room in the original Luigi's Mansion. However, it's only one light, and that's not going to be enough, so we are going to have to figure that one out. Now, there is some barrels kind of alternating on the wall on this side, so we're going to add those real quick. They don't go all the way up to the ceiling, and that's because above this is more piping, so we're going to add more of that, going all the way up here. And then the piping does extend down over here, and then this is where the actual breaker is. So the piping actually goes straight into the floor. It does not touch the breaker. So we're just going to break these away. And then the material made out of the breaker is me some sort of stone material. And I'm thinking I'm just going to use plain old stone because that looks pretty good in my opinion at least. Place down all the stone here. Now this is the breaker area. And then up here I'm going to put three clocks to represent the dials. And then over here I'm actually going to cover the whole thing in item frames as a matter of fact. And then I'll just fill them in with each respective item that goes along with this. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a few stone brick stairs and line this whole breaker with it to kind of add some detail. Actually, we're just going to line the left and right side just like that, and then we'll go ahead and line the top. So there we go. That is the breaker, and there's only a few other things in this room, shockingly enough. So on top of the breaker, there's actually a few little antennas that represent the electricity. So those are going to be represented by fences because that's kind of the best thing, in my opinion, that they look like. And then I'll try to place, I'm going to place some torches somewhere over here to represent the light from them. But placing them right here works too, at least for now. And then on the back side, there isn't a whole lot on this wall because obviously when Luigi is walking around inside the mansion, you're looking at his perspective from this side. So this is where the camera points in. So obviously there's going to be nothing on this wall really at all. But there are a few things that I'm going to add here. And a few of them are things that I kind of missed on the other walls because I just didn't have space for them. So the first thing is that there is actually a chest in this room in the original Luigi's Mansion, so I'm going to go ahead and grab one of those and place that down, just so we're authentic with everything. And I just made another crafting table. Wow. Let's go and place that down real quick. Grab this chest and place it down right over here. And then in this space, I'm thinking I'm just going to put a few more little decoration pieces kind of relating to this. So I'm thinking I'm just going to do something like this where the stairs kind of point out. And then in the middle here, I'm going to place a few oak logs going to the roof, kind of like a mini storage system. This will be where the majority of the lighting of the room is going to go. I'm probably going to place a few little details in the wall as well, including some of these pipes that kind of come down from the ceiling. I don't actually want to make this super bright, as a matter of fact, so I might just get rid of these two torches on this side. Maybe I'll place just one here and I'll shut the door to kind of get the full effect of how this room's going to look. Now, in the original Luigi's Mansion, there's obviously not this glass ceiling, but that is a part of the 
build that I'm going to add to. So it's kind of like a little addition that the original does not have. So it's kind of like my own little flair. So other than that, I think this is pretty much completed. It seems like we've pretty much filled up all wall space and there we go. Now these need to go and these need to go somewhere else. Or is there any torch right here? I know I'm very, very technical with the lighting, but I just want it to look pretty good. I think this looks pretty good. I hope no mobs spawn in here, but we will test that theory out eventually in future episodes when I come down here. And if there's any creepers down here, well, then I know my answer. But at least for now, it looks pretty good to me. So we're going to have to add the items to the item frames next to really finish this off. Now on the side item frames, I'm going to go ahead and put some oak planks just right here. And then the top item frames, like I said, those are going to be clocks. Now, as far as clocks are concerned, I can never remember which category they're in, but they are in obviously one of these. Okay, we got end crystals in that one. This one definitely won't have, oh no, it does, okay. So we need golden redstone. Wow, conveniently, I actually have both of those things in my chest here, so we can actually add those today. Wow, well, I'm definitely gonna be doing that. So let's go over to my chest and we'll grab the redstone that's in here and the gold. With that, we can make three clocks. So let's go down here to the clock tab and make three of those. So now let's go ahead and go down and finish this thing up. So if we place down the clocks right in here, there we go. That looks pretty good to me. They kind of look like dials. That's the reason why I'm doing it. They kind of just look like dials to me and they are dials in the original Luigi's Mansion as well. Now the breaker switch is me something red. So I'm thinking it's most likely to be red wool because that's pretty easy to gather but I don't have any more wool because I use it all up for the carpets. So we're just gonna leave it be as it is now. That is pretty much the Luigi's Mansion break room complete. We managed to finish it in two episodes with a little bit of off camera work. And this is what I really like. So looking down from this glass area, you can just see everything in it. And honestly, I really, really like this design. You can even see the corridors as well on each side. So. It's pretty symmetrical. This one does go over one block, but it looks pretty good in my opinion. This really just does add to the look of this whole room just as it is. And now the next project is trying to finish this quartz roof because I'll tell you what, it is so difficult to try to get all of the quartz pieces necessary for all this. And one thing I just realized is that I remember in a previous video, I said, oh look, there's some slabs I can use for the roof, but their smooth quartz are not the same. So yeah, obviously I didn't think that one through very well, didn't I? But the getting the quartz for all this is going to be a pain, like I said. So off camera, I'm gonna try to get a few more and hopefully I can reach the corner. I can fill in all of these pieces up to this point right here. And once I do that, then I'm gonna say we can start doing the living room decorations. Nothing on the ceiling though, because there's a few things on the ceiling that I wanna do. But as far as the floor decor is concerned, we can do that, of course. But that is my project for the next video. So now that the Luigi's Mansion basement is pretty much 100% done, except for one thing is out of an item frame, which I will do off camera and show you guys that in the next video. We can now move on to my next project, which not only is it the living room that I wanna start on, it's also the kitchen, which is why I'm in here. So it's gonna be more or less a two-parter where I work on all of the kitchen furnishings and part of the living room furnishings. And then the next video after that, I'll completely finish up the living room and also do a few more things in the basement. So that's basically my plan for 167 and 168, and we're already getting close to 170 at that point. So I did reveal previously that skits were going to be a thing every 10 episodes, but I'm still really trying to figure those out. And I don't think 170 will end up being a skit, even though I'm really, really still trying to create one. It's going all right so far. I have started production of the video. The whole script is 100% done, but there is just a few little hiccups that are preventing me from really progressing on the video. And I can blame Citra for most of them because just limitations with how the multiplayer net play works, just crashes and instability problems. Because the as far as the skits are concerned, I'm in movement around a lot. So there's just a lot of complications involved with it. And like I said, I'm still tr really, really trying, but I really can't guarantee that 170 is going to be a skit. It may very well be another monumental moments, which I did say that was gonna be the temporary replacement, but at least for now, it's still going to be temporary because 180 could very well be a skit, or I'm thinking of going a different direction with the skits instead. Instead of doing a full video that is a skit, I'm thinking of just doing a short skit, like at the very beginning of the video, and then still consider it as one. So that's what I'm thinking of doing instead, but once again, I'll update you guys in the future on how that goes. So. 
that's going to go ahead and conclude it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.